Hey guys, today in Kiwana's Kitchen, we are going to make one of my all-time favorite meals as a child, and that is SpaghettiOs. But today, we're going to make it homemade, literally, from scratch. So, without further ado, let's go. Alright guys, to make our delicious SpaghettiOs, we're going to go over all the ingredients that I'm going to be using. I got some sweet Vidalia onions, some homemade mini turkey meatballs that I did make from scratch, and I will share that recipe with you guys um, in a little bit. One jar of marinara sauce. We are going to use two different sizes of anellini pasta. Okay, I have big rings and small rings, and we're going to need a total of eight cups of chicken stock. Now, you only see four right there, okay, but we are going to use a total of eight. Now here's the recipe for the meatballs. Now I did use ground turkey to make my meatballs. You can use any ground meat that you want. Italian sausage, ground beef, ground chicken is totally up to you, okay? So and you can adjust the ingredients to your liking. And after I rolled up the meatballs, I did flash freeze them so they can keep their shape when we pan sear them. So we are pan se searing them here and I did add a little bit of olive oil into the skillet just so that they wouldn't stick. Even though this is a non-stick skillet, I still added it in just a little bit of olive oil and again we just seared those until they got that nice brown color now we didn't cook them all the way because they're going to continue to cook when we add them into the sauce so now we're going to work on the sauce and we're adding in the chicken stock again you need eight cups of the stock we're going to go in with our chopped onion now i'm using sweet vidalia onion you guys that have been on my channel for a while or been with me, you know, my ride or die. For a minute, you guys know I love my sweet Vidalia onion. You can use what you want, okay? Totally up to you. So now we're adding in that entire jar of the pasta sauce, and then we're going to go in with our seasonings. Now, we're going to let this simmer until it reduce a bit, and as it reduce, guys, it is going to thicken. But we're going to get those seasonings in there first. Now we're using Italian seasoning onion powder, garlic powder, and we also added in a tablespoon of minced garlic, which you guys did not see, but it's in there. And again, you can adjust these seasonings um, just to your taste, okay? Just add it to your taste. So we're going to add in two pinches of sugar, and what this is going to do is going to cut the acidity in those tomatoes and also enhance the flavor of those tomatoes, okay? That's what sugar do. It brings out the flavor in tomatoes. So we did let those simmer, okay? So now we're going to let that simmer. <laughs> so now we're going to add in the meatballs, guys, and we're going to continue to let this simmer. And we're not going to cover it. Um, none of that just yet, okay? We're just going to let it, and as it, we're just going to let it thicken, okay? You know, with the top, you're kind of smothering it and all that. You want to keep that top off, and what that's going to do is going to help your soup to thicken, and as you guys can see here, it thickened up beautifully. Now, we did cook the pasta off screen because I really didn't feel the need to kind of show you guys of how to cook, um... Pasta is pretty much like every other pasta. You boil the water, you salt it, then you add your pasta in, and you just taste it just to make sure it's not, um, you know, overcooked or that it is done, okay? So as you guys can see, it is done, and we're just adding the spaghetti sauce with the meatballs in there. She's just giving it a little garnish, and guys, here it is here. It turned out perfect, and when I say these are way, way better than that canned stuff, and you know what's in it, okay? Delicious. They turn out perfect. So that's it for my video of me showing you how to make homemade meatballs. If you guys enjoyed this video, give my video a thumbs up. And until next time, you guys take care. Later.